job, guys. Good job. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to stand. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here this day as God's people in God's house to witness before us the very gifts of God's love. We come before us this day trusting that as we love the Lord our God with all our heart, he invites us, blesses us to love one another as he has loved us first. And today we come to witness before us Josh and Emily, you vowing your love to each other, exchanging your rings, your promises, and binding yourselves to each other as husband and wife. Friends, on behalf of Josh and Emily, as family and friends, I thank you for joining us on this most blessed and special and holy day. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Creator and Redeemer, as you gladden the wedding at Cana in Galilee by the presence of your Son, so by his presence now bring your joy to this wedding. Look in favor upon upon Josh and Emily, and grant that they, rejoicing in all your good and gracious gifts, may at length celebrate with Christ the marriage feast which has no end. Amen. I invite you to be seated as we're blessed now by Kaya, cousin to Emily, singing for us, Look at Me. Mm -hmm.
1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. A reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 through 12. Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Well, Josh and Emily, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> Good. I ask you that question as a way to just invite you to be at ease, relax, <laughs> soak it all in, take it all in. But I also invite you and your wedding party to just be at peace in this moment and enjoy it. Take it in. But I also ask you that question today, Josh and Emily, because as we know in society, we kind of pass off that question. We hear it all the time. We know the person asking doesn't really want to know, so we don't really tell them. Josh and Emily ask it of a new way of each other from this day forward. My loved one, as you look at me, I want to know, how are you doing? Look at me and tell me how you are doing. So when you get asked, share. And then share deeply and let your love for each other simply grow from this day forward. Love perseveres. A strand of three cords is not quickly broken. We celebrate this day that the two of you on your own are individually amazing people, strong enough. And yet, as our reading from Ecclesiastes reminds us, the two of you together are even stronger. And a strand of three cords with the spirit involved and engaged at the center of your life strengthens you even more so for the journey ahead. You've put together a beautiful day it's an amazing day and all the things that you dreamed of have come together. But the most important is that you're here this day. You know, I know we were worried last night a little bit about the weather. It's not even nearly as hot as they thought it could be. <laughs> but the weather, you know, is one of those things that changes all the time, comes and goes. Josh and Emily, the biggest change of all is happening right before us this very day. You walked down that aisle into this worship space just moments ago as friend, lover, partner, companion. You're walking down that aisle moments from now as friend, partner, lover, companion, and husband and wife. The greatest change of all. Your relationship is transformed. You know, most of us would say that we would love to see history or be invited into a historical moment. Well, today is the only July 18th, 2015 there's ever been and ever gonna be. It's imprinted in history. And your family's histories change this very day. Your histories change this day as you come together as husband and wife. Just a closing word. There was a couple celebrating a milestone anniversary well into their golden years. They had the same smile on their faces, the same sparkle in their eyes that you have this day. They were asked, how have you been able to do this so long? And they said, oh, that's easy for us because we promised on our wedding day to love each other at two times and two times only, our every now and our forever always. Josh and Emily, this is the very next of your nows. There's been so many of them that have led to this moment, and your forever always awaits and is about to unfold. Go forward, trusting the one who created you, calls you by name, and has brought you to each other, blesses you, strengthens you, graces you. As husband and wife, your every now, and you're forever always. Amen. Josh and Emily, I ask you this day, do you come today of your own free will? Do you come today with it being your intention to share with each other your joys and sorrows and all that the years will bring? Do you come today ready to exchange your vows and rings and your promises and to bind yourselves to each other as husband and wife? If so, answer together, I do. I do.
I, Josh, take you, Emily. I, Josh, take you, Emily. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And I promise to be faithful to you. And I promise to be faithful to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I, Emily, take you, Josh. I, Emily, take you, Josh. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And I promise to be faithful to you. And I promise to be faithful to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. As Josh and Emily prepare to share in the exchanging and wearing of these rings, we pray over these rings this day. Almighty God, you are the Alpha and the Omega. To you there really is no beginning and no end. We pray your blessing upon these rings. Circles that have no beginning and no end. Bless these rings. Bless the exchanging and wearing of these rings. Bless Josh and Emily. They're every now and they're forever always without end. As husband and wife, amen. I give you this ring, Emily. I give you this ring, Emily. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. I give you this ring, Josh. I give you this ring, Josh. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Friends, indeed, this very day, Josh and Emily, by their promises before God and in our very presence, have bound themselves to one another as husband and wife. Blessed be the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, for those whom God has joined together. Let no one put us under. Amen. The Lord God who created our first parents and established them in marriage, establish and sustain you, Josh and Emily, that you may find delight in each other and grow in holy love until your life's end. Amen. At this time, Josh and Emily are going to share in a uh, unity ceremony at the altar and will be blessed by some special music, What You Mean to Me.
Friends, I invite you to join me in raising an arm and a hand above Josh and Emily this day and showering a blessing upon them in their new life together. Faithful Lord, source of love, pour down your grace upon Josh and Emily that they may fulfill the vows they have made this day and reflect your steadfast love in their lifelong faithfulness to each other. We thank you, Almighty God, for those that have blessed Josh and Emily on their journey, those present here this day and those who are part of the memorial bouquet, those that touch their lives, continue to use us to support them. Truly, as members with them of the body of Christ, use us, their family and friends who love them so dearly, to support Josh and Emily in their new life together. And from your great store of strength, give them power and patience, affection and understanding, courage and love toward you, toward each other and toward the world, that they may continue together in mutual growth and love according to your will in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We take a moment this day to pray for those gathered here and elsewhere throughout the world as well. Gracious Father, you bless the family and renew your people. Enrich husbands and wives, parents and children, friends, more and more with your grace, relationships everywhere, that strengthening and supporting each other, they may serve those in need and be a sign of the fulfillment of your perfect kingdom, where with your Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, one God through all ages of ages. Amen. I invite us this day to share in saying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Friends gathered here this day, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you, be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Josh and Emily, Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you with his light, his truth, and his love. You're every now and you're forever always as husband and wife. Amen. Friends, it is indeed my blessed joy to introduce to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Josh and Emily Rowan. Okay. 
Okay. Josh and Emily. Here. It's Grandma. Okay. Just a quick picture. Yep. Okay. Two seconds. Okay, we got one. Oh, here. No, no, no. I'm not in. <laughs> <laughs>